All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here, kick it out. So as part of our 6.5 Creedmoor build with the guys over there at Live Free Armory, uh, they introduced me to this company right here. This is Hitman Industries uh, Barrel. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I've been pretty impressed with this. I've already scoped it out, and it looks good. Now, let's just go over some of the details. It is 416 stainless steel, and I know it's good steel because it's been sitting out in my shop, and we have not seen any type of rust on these things. On occasion, I've gotten some so-called 416 stainless steel and the carbon content is so high that you'll get pitted and rusted elements inside the barrel. This is not. Uh, from front to back, it is a 22 inch barrel. We've got a beautiful crown right there. Uh, spiraling on it is really neat. Now I'm usually not a fan of fluting or spiraling or anything else. It, to me, it, it looks cool, but does it add anything as far as rigidity or stability to the barrel? We're going to find out. But moving back, you got a dimple set right there. We do have a gas block. Now, this guy right here, this is a 936 uh, gas block spacing bar right here. Nice little gas hole. But look at that spiraling. It does look very nice. Really cool. Now, Here's the thing that just is kind of intriguing to me, and I want you guys to see that. But we have a single feed rim. That's new to me. I've never seen that before. Let me show you something. This is a PSA barrel in 6.5 Creedmoor, and you've got the feed ramps that are traditional, more traditional, like that. So anyway, uh, one of the things, 22-inch barrel, this guy, this guy, if I can get it to sit here, the weight of this fella is four pounds seven ounces and if you take it in for a more traditional round barrel this barrel is three pounds 9.4 ounces but i think this guy's an 18 inch barrel uh nope she's a 20 inch barrel okay very good so let's go ahead and take a look we're going to use the test long bore scope and I want to show you what this thing looks like on the inside. We're going to look at the tooling, see how the lands look, see if the uh, gas port is where it needs to be, which I like them to be not on the land itself, but on occasion that's a, something that you possibly can't worry about right here. Okay, so let's take a look at this. There's your feed ramp. The milling looks pretty good, I'm going to say, all the way around. Not bad. Let's see where the lands are and how they are consistent. Uh, one of the things is when you do have your lands, they will ramp up, and that's the jump. And what I want to make sure of is, is the jump consistent all the way around. I've seen barrels where the jump is not consistent. We can see the inside. There's the cut. All right, here we go. So there is a ramp for your land. There we go. So far, so good. Everything looks consistent all the way across. Now, with the cuts in this thing, this is a button cut barrel, it looks like. Uh, what we'll do is we'll have to go ahead and put a couple rounds through it and watch the copper equilibrium build up in the barrel. And that way, we can see the accuracy increase as we go. But as you can tell, the lands look really good. Very nicely done. Now, I have not cleaned this out or done anything with it, so we're looking at a barrel that is straight out of the bag. Very cool. This barrel right now is $299. Uh, not sure if these specific ones are in stock, but I'll tell you what, just give them a call and see what they have, and you can go from there. All right, hold on. Got a little. All right, keep continuing moving on up. Very nice. Very clean cut barrel. I like those lands, very pronounced. No rust, no pitting, no nothing. This is a fresh barrel and it, she's ready to go. Let's see if we can't find that uh, gas port here. Boom, there it is. Ah, okay, so in this barrel, we see that the uh, gas port is not on the land. Some people think that that has something to do with accuracy and, and it could very well be, but you can see that, let's see. You can see my eyeball. There's my finger right there. Boom. All right, moving forward, let's go ahead and take a look at the crown. But the barrel in itself, look how pretty that is. That is a good looking barrel. Justin, you guys did a good job. And just, you know, so you know, they did send this to the, to the channel as part of the uh, build series. And there you go. 
good looking. Oh yeah, what was that? A lot of times you pick up some junk in here. But yeah, man, that's a good looking barrel right there. We'll go ahead and put a couple rounds through it. I'll run some brushes. We'll break this thing in perfectly. But that's it, guys. Um, the 6.5 Creedmoor barrel. Hitman Industries. One and eight twist, five right, 416 stainless steel. Not bad, Justin. I'm looking forward to putting this thing together. Let's get this rifle build started, and we'll rock out. It's Boy 32 If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom comes fluted at about 1,000 yards. <laughs> I'm out here. Y'all be good.